If you are just tuning into the show, this is April Setti, your host on New Jersey Buzz, 920 AM, The Voice. One of the things we buzz the most about is our support local. It is the independent business owners of our community that have the ability to make a difference. And I can hear the question you're asking, why? Well, because they can actually make a decision. So my next guest not only has exciting news about her business, but is queen of support local. And I want to welcome Debbie to the show from Mrs. G. Thank you so much, April. I'm so excited to be here with you. I know. Finally, we've gotten it together. It's been a long time. I've been trying to get on the show, but I said, let's wait until your new location is opened up so you can tell everyone all about it. But before we get into that, um, you know, I'm sure everyone knows who Mrs. G's is, only because you drive by it on Business Route 1. But I'd like our listeners, just in case they're newer to the area, tell us all about what you do. Wonderful. So I'm the third generation owner of Mrs. G. Um, My grandparents, uh, uh, Beatrice Greenberg and Abe Greenberg, started the business in 1935. So we're actually celebrating our 80th year in business. They started in the plumbing business in Trenton, and their business grew and grew, and they moved to Olden Avenue um, back into the 50s. And again, um, it it was all about how they um, connected with the community. They were very um, supportive of the community. Uh, everybody knew them. The business was a community hub. And as it, it actually um, grew, um, that they had to move again to uh, Lawrence um, and Lawrence Township um, back in 1971. And uh, there we were, were there for about 40 years. And um, we, we sell um, so many appliances, uh, all the brands that everybody knows and loves, um, from General Electric to Frigidaire to Whirlpool, um, as well as um, the brands like Sub-Zero and Wolf and Viking, um, of over 50 brands of appliances. We also sell televisions, and we just started selling the Serta mattress line. Oh, okay. So everything. One-stop shop. <laughs> One-stop shop. <laughs> now, um as an independent business business owner, and I will say we did buy our appliances from your um, store um, because, well, it wasn't because it supported local, but I just wanted somebody who was knowledgeable. And, uh, you know, we got the induction stove and the fancy refrigerator, and I'm still trying to lose how you learn how to use things because I just don't research. But... I went there because your staff was so knowledgeable for us, and we were very stressed out. You know, redoing a kitchen, I mean, that's the mother of the house where you go. And I just, you know, what? obviously there's a philosophy kind of behind the scenes of who your staff is. And that's why you've probably been in business for how many years now? (laughs) Uh, 80 years. Uh, We have an exceptional staff. Um, Mrs. G's has 25 employees. Um, of which eight are sales associates. And then, of course, the balance is all things about running a a business where you have warehousing and you have your ordering and you have your customer service, et cetera. Um, eight, um, Eight sales associates who are incredibly knowledgeable. But what's really great about Mrs. G's is is Um, It's a family business, but there are many tiers of family business. We have our general managers who are um, father and son, and we actually have two brothers who are sales associates, and their father was a sales associate. So you can see the depth um, of of the family business, and the knowledge is there. And that's why people come to our store, because we really do take care of the customer before, during, and after the sale. So it's having the knowledge. We get trained uh, Every day we even travel around the country, yeah. our sales staff, for more in-depth training by the manufacturers. Um, but it's also the selection. We have in our new showroom, it's a beautiful selection um, within any budget that you can see all the different varieties of manufacturers in, in laundry, in cooking, in grilling. It's all about, and our new um slogan are, uh, is making life better. So you can cook better, it. you can cook better, sleep better, you wash better, you clean better. Yeah. And that's that's really our mission is to um, fit the right appliance within the budget, within 
um, the parameters and the, the specs the, of um, your space, and um, and just like you, feeling really good about um, about your, your purchase, new, about your purchase. Yeah. yeah, because when you buy a stove, you kind of hope that that's going to last a while. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so Absolutely. you know, and we went in there with a the budget, but you know, when we talked to your um, Michael. And, you know, I was like, so we really didn't know what we were shopping for. And it was so nice to just have somebody didn't feel pressured at all and had somebody that really made us feel comfortable with our purchases and that we could make decisions, not because we were being forced into exactly. it. Right, right. But because it made sense for us because we have um, we don't have gas. We have propane and we were going to get a propane stove. But we were told, well, this is if you do this, this is what will happen. And we would never have known that. That, you know, doesn't give as much of a good quality of, you know, like as right, a gas stove. Right. So that's why we went with the induction. I- induction is uh, the, has been around for a very long time, um, but it has become uh, very popular now because people are really understanding the great experience that I'm sure you're um, you're getting at home with going down to a very fine um, simmer to a super boil um, equivalent to a 20,000 BTU burner. And easy to clean, right? Yeah, and it looks and, clean all and the And so time. that gives you that great experience because it's all about what we really want, not only to um, have you get appliances that you love, but we want you to get back into the kitchen and cook and really yeah. enjoy it. No, yeah. and I have to say, it took us a very long time to have our kitchen done. It was a full remodel, as you know. Um, and it was like, I think, seven, almost eight months. It's a long time, and you really start to appreciate you know, eating out and it's just healthier to cook at home and more family time. And, um, you know, as an independent business owner, you are a mother of two beautiful daughters. Yes. And um, they're twins, right? Twins. Yeah. Yep. They're gorgeous. They're in college. Um, you've continued on the family business. You build your brand. You're everywhere. You get involved with thousands of local charities over the years. And let's not forget, very instrumental in supporting um, Shop Small. Um, if that isn't enough, also working um, to get rid of the online tax loophole that's right. going on. Right. Where do you find the time? <laughs> well, you have to. Uh, you, you always find the time when you love what you do, and um, I always tell my children, you have to find uh, whatever your career in life will be. You have to. You have to enjoy it. You have to love it, and uh, and that's what I do. Um, my grandmother always knew um, that this business um, was in my blood, and um, I. But but what I love most about the business and having a great sales um, staff and um, management staff allows me to go out into the community and um, support other businesses because that's what it was like many years ago. We've lost touch with, with all the big box stores coming in and mm-hmm. lost that community, that community spirit between retails that um, – that used to be when when um, my grandmother, um, uh, you know, started her business, and we're, you could see that uh, these independent businesses they're, they're yearning for that, and um, and we just need somebody to remind the consumer as well as remind other businesses what is the benefit of shopping local. It's not just supporting these businesses, but it's actually keeping the com- the money in the community, which then helps grow the community, help support the community. Why are all our townships with, you know, not having a lot of dollars available? It's because the retail, the independent retailer, um, it, you know, they're not being supported. And uh, when you support um, an independent retailer, $100, uh, approximately $60 goes back into the community. Yeah, people don't know that. It's if so you important. support a, a national chain within your community that has what they call a brick and mortar, around forty dollars will go back into the community. But when you buy something online, absolutely no dollars goes back into the community. So, like um, businesses like Mrs. G's, like uh, my accountant, my lawyers, my marketing um, agents, even where we buy our paper, we buy our paper for our copier machine. From local businesses that ha- that are in that business, and we support them just like I would want that these co- businesses to support Mrs. G's. It's very important. Yeah. If, if we just shift, and this this is um, 
These are facts that um, that are proven. If everybody within the community just shifts their shopping 10% within their community, all, anywhere in the country, will bring an average of $200 million a year back into that community. That that's, sounds... re- that's phenomenal. And it's a no-brainer. It's just... Think local first. Right. I get it. There's some things you can't. There's some things maybe it's better. It it, it happens. Um, it's more convenient. It happens. But if you just take a moment and think local first and make that difference, mm-hmm. that simple 10%, it makes a big difference back to the community. And I will tell you, because we had our kitchen and we shopped. Yeah. And we looked at prices. And honestly, when you go into your store, you don't think that you're in an independent business mom and pop store. You look like, uh, you know, one of your big box stores. And and, the, and there's more, I don't want to say, but, um, you know, there's a lot more professionalism and help than you would get in a big box store because people just hire people where you, like you said, you have family within families working right. for you. So I'm so <laughs> glad you brought that up because um, uh, people ask us all the time. We're one store. Uh, one wonderful, great store. Yep. And um, and they always ask us, how how do you compete against the national change? Well, Mrs. G's is a member of one of the largest buying cooperatives in the country. It's actually $15 billion, that's billion dollars in buying power. 3,000 independents get together all over the country. And we work off of different warehouses um, for inventory. And that's how we can compete on price every day. But they can't compete on our customer service, especially after the sale. That that is um, follow up. The, the the follow up the the um, if if there is a service issue, you know we are uh, the cons- our, our customers advocate. We um, we we uh, work to make sure that they get um, a timely resolution if there is a service issue. And oh, uh, I have to tell you that yeah. happened with yeah. our refrigerator. There was a piece missing, and I'm like, the, and I was like, oh, I feel dumb calling. And so Michael called me, said, how's everything? I said, well, honestly, I'm like, I don't know if this is right. And someone came out, looked at it. They had to replace it. It wasn't your fault. It was in the shipping. And I was like, you know, if I, if he didn't, he didn't call me, I, it still wouldn't be. And I, cause I just, I'm not that person, you know, right. but you guys with your follow up afterwards, I was able to fix, have something fixed that I didn't want to impose on anybody. No, it was great. No, no, no. And, and, and I thought it was awesome. So yeah. I was like, wow. That was cool. And Dave was like, wow, that was really nice that they did that. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> and with this the, with this buying power, um, we actually, um, you know, uh, can price match. So, you know, yeah. and, and um, we, you know, we, we do not want to lose the sale at all. And if you go onto our website, you can read about our price match policy. It's even 30 days after the sale. So, and we deliver all over New, New Jersey, mm-hmm. half of Pennsylvania, um, uh, of course, the eastern side of Pennsylvania, and uh, and we deliver into New York. Yeah. yeah. yeah.